Sanjay Gant, and he is attempting advanced communication project, storytelling, bringing history to life. Three, this topic is three sacred sacrifices. It will be well written by Mr. Sanjay Gant. Uh, the objectives of this speech is to understand the purpose of stories about historical events or people, and second, to use the storytelling skills developed in the preceding projects to tell a story about a historical event or a person. Timer, please note, seven to, uh, time is 7 to 9 minutes. This is what the demand. 
But no one expected that the chief carpenter will ask this kind of demand. But anyhow, King has given the word, so he agreed. So, chief carpenter stood on the holy car, big wheeled car, the lady was on the top of it, and people started pulling the car. Slowly, car started moving. Within a few minutes, the car collapsed. The chief carpenter fell down. The big wheel ran on him. He was dying. And he told the king, <coughs> when I made the astrological predictions, I knew that when we run this holy car, the king will die. That is why I demanded I be the king today. I am already 90 years old. I will not be able to contribute further for this society. For a young king, you will be able to contribute more. So, I am ready to sacrifice my life for your glory. After listening to this, citizens of Shivaganga, ministers and kings were astonished. They were really happy for what kind of sacrifices people are ready to do. Finally, the tower is opened and uh, people were sort of using it. Years passed. We are moving on to the third sacrifice. Britishers came to India, East India Company. They started acquiring places here and there because Marudu brothers had a strong friendship with Virabandi at the moment. They wanted to acquire Shiva Ganga also. So, they started the war. Marudu brothers gave a tough fight to Britishers, but they could not withstand in front of the modern weapons Britishers. So, Marudu brothers lost. Britishers got hold of Shiva Ganga. However, they could not catch Marudu brothers. Those days, only when the king is caught and killed, the British Britishers will be happy. Otherwise, these kings can revive after some time with some rebellious group and they can counter attack. So, they wanted to make sure we have to catch Marudu brothers and hang them. In the nearby forest was a hideout for Marudu brothers. Whatever the tricks the British captain took, they couldn't catch both brothers. So, the captain was uh, thinking what he has to do, what how he can catch hold of them. Whatever the strategy is, they really put it work. Finally, that captain made a very cunning and clever announcement. A very cunning and clever announcement. Marudu brothers has to surrender immediately, otherwise that tower will be blown off with a bomb. 19 years of struggle to construct. Many villages are not in good Chief Carpenter died. That tower has to be there forever. We are just humans. We live today, we die tomorrow. So, for the sake of tower and its longevity, let us go on, sir. This is what they decided. They went, surrendered, Britishers hanged. Even today, that tower stands taller, taller, and taller. Remember, greatest achievements are born out of greatest sacrifices.